This is an Alfa Romeo, they call it 6C2500. Uh, it's basically a 1942 chassis. It was a, a war production chassis, could have ended up being a pickup truck or something. And uh, Batista Farina built this car on that 6C2500 chassis. So, you know, because it wasn't a special, it's single carbureted and there's nothing really ex extravagant about the engine or chassis, but there's certainly a lot extravagant at all points north of that. You know, with something like the Alpha, you can't pick up the phone and just order parts. Engine parts, we actually just made new ones. This Alfa Romeo was built by Batista Farina, who was the youngest member of the Farina family, and uh, which is how he got the name Panin, meaning little. And it was the car that basically launched the company Panin Farina as a coach builder. It went to Switzerland, first off, for a concours there where they were exhibiting fashions and concours with its first owner, who was a perfumier from Milan. She's a very rich woman. She had it for about six months, took it to the Concours at uh, Monte Carlo and won Best in Show there. Then she sold it back to Pinin Farina and he drove it around for about six months. Then it went and was purchased by the Austin Company out of England. And Austin used it as a design concept mule for the Austin Atlantic. It doesn't have a lot of power because it's pulling a lot of weight. But it handles quite nicely. I mean, I, I drove it on the roads at Pebble Beach and everything, and, and uh, you know, there's tight corners there, and it was a very comfortable car to use. So, you know, as a driving car, it is quite usable. You can't say that about a lot of beautiful cars before the war. If you really, really love a car in the 30s, don't ever drive it because they can never live up to the dream. That said, modern cars don't give you this visceral feel. You don't feel the road, you don't feel the car, you're not as involved in the driving of the car. 